Every year at Emmanuel, we have a time of thanksgiving in the autumn. It's an opportunity to think about what it means to give as part of our Christian life. There are around 2,350 Bible verses that discuss money, wealth and possessions. And close to 15% of everything that Jesus spoke about related to money and possessions. Clearly, it's an important thing for Christians to think about, to ask questions such as our attitude towards money and possessions. Where are the areas of greed in our lives? Do we give freely, generously, cheerfully? In one of Paul's letters to the Corinthian church, he wrote, Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. There are multiple examples of the very first churches giving generously, sacrificially even, to care for and support each other and other churches. Sometimes they were so far away that the Christians would never have had the opportunity to meet or get to know each other. But there was a culture of sharing, supporting and loving others by financial giving. This is one of the reasons why it's so important to live a life of generous giving. The amount of money that we give is not as important as creating a desire to give and a regular habit of giving, just like the very first churches did. The money given to Manuel goes to the mission and ministry of our church and the Diocese of Leicester, as well as supporting other churches and charities across the world. You can find more details on where the money goes to on our website. You'll notice at Emmanuel that we pass around a bag for a collection during every service. This is one way that you can give. You can also give online through our website or set up a regular direct debit. There's also a card reader in the conference. But there's another, probably more powerful reason why we should give our money. In a letter to the Philippian church, Paul wrote that God is a God who gives and he gave up his nature in becoming Jesus by becoming nothing, becoming one of us to live a human life. And then he gave up that human life too by dying on a cross so that we could have a restored relationship with God, free from sin and evil and death. Jesus gave up everything for us and everything that we have, including abundant life itself, comes from God. And this is the deep reason why Christians should want to give, to give back to God, to recognise and give thanks for all that we've been given through Christ. And so, every year we have our Thanksgiving series to remind ourselves of these truths and to reflect and reassess what we give. We encourage everyone else to do the same.